Hi, this is Steve Blosis. I'm a product marketing manager at NXP uh, doing I2C devices. Been doing it for the past 11 years. And today we're going to talk about the PCA 9517A migration to the PCA 9617. There, uh, there's a new 1 megahertz fast mode plus bus buffer. The reason why we're doing this new fast bus buffer is that in the current Romley platforms, uh, the PCA 9517A is being used for voltage level translation from 0.9 volts uh, to 3.3 volts for the RDIM operating at 400 kHz. For the DDR DDR3 refresh and next generation DDR4 servers, uh, they're actually going down to about 0.8 volt on the processor. Uh, the RDIM side is 2.5 volts and the system speeds up to one megahertz. So there was a requirement there to do a drop-in replacement for the 9517A, so the 9617A will be that drop-in replacement. We have a data sheet that's completed now. We'll have samples in mid-June. The qualification samples will be by the end of July, and we'll have the device released by October. So this shows a, a slide of the current DDR3 server application uh, where you have the master, the processor, at 0.95 volts, and the RDIM is at 3.3 volts. So the device is used as a voltage level translation and also to isolate capacitance. And remember, this application here is at 400 kHz, and the enable is always enabled, so this is just used to isolate capacitance and voltage level translation at 400 kHz. When we go to the DDR3 refresh DDR4 servers, the voltage is down to 0 0.9, 0 0.9 plus or minus 0.5%. Uh, and so the device is used again to isolate capacitance going from 0.9 volts going up to 2.5 volts plus or minus 10% at 1 megahertz. So it's the same type of application, but for DDR4, uh, the RDIM and the temp sensor SPD on the RDIM will now operate at 1 megahertz. The EEPROM size went from 2K to 4K bits. They decided to have an increased speed of transfer here uh, in order to be able to read the double EEPROM quicker. The reason that we're doing the one megahertz transfer speed between the uh, RDIM and the master is now for the DDR4 servers, the uh, temp sensor SPD, uh, the SPD double EEPROM size has gone from 2K bits to 4K bits. So they need the higher speed in order to reduce the boot time as they go through read the SPD and then start up the computer. So here, this shows a comparison between the uh, 9517A, uh, 9617. Uh, the voltage range is pretty much the same on the A side, uh, but it's a little bit lower here, 0.8 volts on the newer device. We've strengthened the drive on the newer device because Fast Mode Plus is both the one megahertz speed and higher drive. Uh, the drivers are actually spec the same, so if you're operating it from five volts to five volts and just using it for capacitance isolation, both, to, both sides will drive about 30. Uh, when you get down to the lower voltages, the 1 volt, 1.2 volt, you don't expect to be using a really strong current or the pull-ups because of the ground offset. So uh, the voltage is a bit lower here. We've got stronger drive on both the A and B sides. Uh, the B side voltage range has gone down to 2.2 to support that 2.5 volt uh, conversion. Static offset remains on the B side. Frequency has gone from 400 kHz to 1 megahertz. Pinout's the same on the package. Uh, we don't do the SO8 package. We didn't really have that many sales. Most customers are going to the uh, smaller MSOP, TSOP8 package. And then also we have the HWSON8, which is a small 2 by 3 package. And this just is an overview of the 9617 processor to SM bus side. For the specific DDR4 Grantly applications, it's going from 0.9 to 2.5. Uh, normal, no offsets on the low voltage side. You have the static offset on the high voltage side. Static offsets needed to control the direction of the device, the one megahertz operation, and you will need external pull-ups on both sides of the device. Samples will be in June, and the release of the part will be in October of this year. If you are using this in any sort of server platforms, the PCA 9517A, uh, the 9617 will be the device for your migration to DDR4. If you need more information on the PCA 9617, contact your NXP account manager. Uh, the device is not on the internet yet, uh, but we can send you the uh, data sheet, or you can go to uh, i2c.support at nxp.com, 
and request information on the PCA 9617 and we can send it to you that way. Thanks a lot and have a great day.